Hi, I'm Gabe. And I'm Tanya. And together we're Breaking Home Base RV. We're preparing for a big road trip coming up here in about three, three and a half weeks, and we're super excited. We're getting some things ready around the rig uh, that aren't our normal maintenance items. Uh, and Tanya's gonna start with some things on the inside of the rig today. That's right. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to everybody about stinky things inside the RV. Stinky things that create issues down the road. You're gonna wanna stick around for that one. Next week, Gabe, we're gonna be talking all about the outside of the rig and the things we wanna do to prepare so we're safe from the outside perspective. You guys stick around. Spring cleaning can happen any time of year, especially when your rig has been sitting a while. There's more behind cleaning your RV than meets the eye. It's your nose. Your nose can often track down harmful problems inside your home on wheels. So let's get busy. Living in tight quarters can mix mash a host of bad smells. Uh, case in point, Gabe's shoes, mixing garbage, the moldy guacamole in the back of the fridge, and a wet dog in his favorite blanket, all within 400 square feet. And let's just say, it doesn't matter how pretty or expensive your rig is, because it stinks. We'll call these controllable odors. A little disinfectant like Odaban and general cleaning of the cupboards, floors, walls, and appliances will take care of the general smells caused by dirt and dust. A tidy and fresh home will give you a blank slate in which to detect potentially harmful issues within the coach. You know, someone once said that every minute spent in organizing, you gain a whole hour of extra time. Now, in the adventure life, who couldn't use an extra hour in their day? The goal of cleaning isn't to cover up odors. It's to root out the problems that are causing the odors. Let's take a closer look at smells. Boiled or rotten eggs in the air. This is serious. Propane has an additive with a scent similar to boiled or rotten eggs. Much to my dismay, our dog Cammie bounces against the stove knobs when she gets excited at mealtime. Many times we've noticed the room fills with gas. In a small space, it doesn't take long to notice the offensive smell. With any type of propane leak, ventilate the rig immediately. Propane inhalation replaces oxygen within your lungs, and that causes asphyxiation. Exposure to propane can cause dizziness, weakness, confusion, choking, nausea, numbness and tingling in the arms and legs. If you believe that you are experiencing propane poisoning, immediately get into fresh air and call 911 or poison control. The number is 1-800-222-1222. Do not travel or stay in your RV unless the source of the leak has been resolved. I've also been told that low cylinder tanks can smell as well, so it's best to check out any propane smell with a professional. Rotten eggs when running water. A rotten egg smell when you run water is a sign of bacteria and microorganisms in the lines or fresh water tanks. Unfortunately, living with stinky water isn't just an inconvenience to your nose. Your water could potentially make you or your family very sick. The presence of certain bacteria can cause symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, cramps, nausea, headaches, fever, fatigue, and even in some cases, death. Gabe will go over how we sanitize our fresh water tanks and lines before a big trip in our next episode. The Outhouse. 
We all know that smell. Although not pleasant, you'll know when there's a problem in that department. One of the most common culprits for sewer smell is the buildup of brown matter in toilet paper. Think of elementary school paper mache. Yeah, gross. Here are some tips that'll help you wipe out that problem. Rinse your tank several full tank flushes each time you empty the tank. Use a black tank treatment after each flushing routine. Check the toilet bowl water for a good seal. Water that drains out of the bowl means a bad seal and needs replacing. Check your black tank roof vent for clogs. When all else fails, call a professional. Sewer gases can make you sick and prolonged exposure to hydrogen sulfide, the sewer gas smell, will cause irritability, headaches, fatigue, sinus infections, bronchitis, pneumonia, loss of appetite, poor memory, and dizziness to people and pets alike. The salon. The gray tank can get really nasty. Kind of smells like a hair perm, like from the 80s. For those who don't know the smell of a perm, it's like a chemically enhanced rotten egg. Slow running drains clearly indicate clogging. Resist the urge to pour harsh chemicals down into your drain, which could damage the gray tank. Reserve that cleaning for the professionals. Okay, I do recommend a tool. This is called the Drain Snake hair clog removal tool. It's a flexible piece of plastic with some little sharp teeth on it. Um, this is to go into your drain, not too far, but it will remove some of the buildup with hair into a clog in the top of your drain. I'm pretty sure I removed a cat out of my shower and bathroom drains. Now they run great, just like the black tank drop in a special RV gray tank chemical after your flushing routine. Ammonia smells in and around the refrigerator. The smell of ammonia along with evidence of water leaks and rising in the refrigerator temperature is not something you want. Inspect your adjoining cabinets and carpets and pantries for any type of water or moisture. The only recourse for this type of problem is to remove and replace your refrigerator. End of story. I'm sorry. The musty, earthy smell. Water leaks and water damage. Where there is mold and mildew, there is the potential for serious damage inside your RV. Mold is a fungus that can penetrate materials and mold will spread and it will hide. Mildew doesn't penetrate and it will clean easier, but both grow in damp and moist environments. In an RV, look for staining and buckling on the ceilings and walls near the washing machine, shower, and under the sinks. You must find the sources and fix the issues remediate the mold and or mildew. The Home Depot recommends using undiluted vinegar to clean the surfaces or a bleach solution of one cup bleach to one gallon of water with a little bit of dish soap. Mold and mildew can cause problems to humans and animals alike. Symptoms caused by mold and mildew are coughing, sore throat, rash, wheezing, sneezing, itchy and watery eyes and nose. It's important to remediate mold and mildew inside and outside of your RV, including the Bay Areas. The funeral home. Gabe and I looked at a lot of rigs before we settled on our 2016 Newmar. In many of the older rigs that we looked at, we noticed a specific smell. We coined it the funeral home smell. We can be sensitive to smells, so we wouldn't even consider buying a rig if it had an odor. But do all RVs eventually smell bad and will it get worse over time was our big question. I can't completely answer those questions, but what we learned is that the smell is formaldehyde gas emitting from the glue and adhesives used to build the RV parts like particle boards and OSB, the walls, subfloors, cabinets, fixtures, carpet, and tile installations use that glue, which causes the odor. Formaldehyde levels 
chemicals in RVs can be harmful to humans and pets, and it doesn't look like RV manufacturers are mandated for testing or regulated for formaldehyde emissions at the federal level. I can smell it in my bays on really hot days. Professionals on the internet say that they use a cook-off process to remediate. If you have concerns about any weird smells coming from inside or outside of your rig, we recommend that you contact an RV specialist for assessment or you contact the manufacturer for further information on your type of rig. I want to thank everybody for joining me inside today as we're getting so excited and prepared to go on a big road trip. We hope that you'll join us next time. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. That's going to tell you the next time we have an episode coming out. Gabe will be outside with the rig next week and give a thumbs up. That really encourages us. If there's anything specific that you would like us to address in one of our videos, please leave it below down in the comment. We'll see you all next time. Have a great week. Happy traveling. Hey Gabe, can you come in here a second? I need you.